I just want to show you how you can make a landing page real quick. You know, landing pages are very powerful to use in your marketing where you can have somebody land on one page that has one specific purpose. In a lot of cases, it's going to be to build a list, get an email address, offer something free of value. So I want to show you real quick how you can how you can do that. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to create a new page. And the kind of landing page I'm going to show you is just going to be a video with a sign-up form. So I'll show you what what that can look like. And we're going to call this a, a test landing page. And um, so let's see. So what I'm going to do is go here to YouTube, and I'm going to go find the video that I want to include on my landing page. So I'm just going to use this video right here. So we'll say we want to share it. I'm going to embed it. And on my width, I'm going to make it, I'm going to start out with this width right here, 640 by 360. And, um, and what I'll do is I'm going to go here, and I'm going to embed, put that code right here. So there's that, there's that code. Now, what I'm going to do is, let me see if it'll allow me to add, to add a column. Okay, so I'm going to make, I'm going to make a half column. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this content from this iframe and I'm going to put it inside of this half a column. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and we're going to add another column and we're going to add another half column. And then on this half a column right here, we're going to actually add our form into that we want people to be able to. Um, we want people to be able to fill in this particular form. So there's a couple of ways that you can create a list uh, using some free services out there. So one that I use is called JotForm. There's a lot of paid services as well through different CRMs, AWeber, Infusionsoft. There's a lot of options out there that you know um, you can get to look a little bit more customized. I'm just going to show you just from a free example. So in JotForm, what I could do is I could go there. I could click on New Form form template and there's a form template for almost everything that you can imagine so if we just look for one that's called mailing list you can preview it right here you can see pretty simple form here's another one you know if you want to ask more information snail mailing list you know so there's gonna be their address yoga mailing list you know so you can see that so I'm just gonna use this really simple one right here so I'm gonna clone that that form So you can see here's that form. So I don't want to say join our mailing list. I'm going to say get free marketing tips. How about that daily email with an insider tip to improve your business? And we'll just ask their name and their email and their little submit button there. And one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the form width. Okay, so it's only 590, so that's probably good. So let's just save that. And then I'm going to go to embed the form, and I'm going to use an iframe. So I'm just going to copy that code there. Come back over here to my page that I'm creating, and I'm going to add that inside the content area. So let's preview it and see. I don't think any, anything, it might, it might not show up because we have iframes. Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to copy all of this code. We're going to cut it. And I'm going to go and repaste it on the HTML page. That's where we should have been building this out at. So because we're using all this coding and all this HTML, you have to build it on the HTML tab. So let's preview and see if anything is showing up right now. So right now nothing's showing up. Let's go ahead and we'll publish. We'll publish the page. So that we can make it show up. And we'll be able to go and see what this looks like right now. Let's see if it looks good. So you can see right now, so we've got to do some resizing, right? It's the video is too big. So I need to shrink my video down 
So what I do is I come back here to the YouTube where I got the code, and I'm just going to put a different width in here. So let's try 500 by 281. That might that might help us out. And I'm going to update the code. And once that page will refresh the page that's live on the website. So now you can see, so there's what that looks like now, right? So that looks a little bit better. So you can just play around with it, but you get the idea. And then what we can do is, on mine, we could come here and we can disable some of these share features, right? So we can disable that WP socializer. So it'll take, it'll take those off. Um, and then I already have it without a sidebar. So that's pretty much, that's the main things that we want to do right there. Then we'll come back here and let's, once that's done, we'll be able to refresh this and see. You know, at least it's taking that off. So this will give you an idea of how you could build out a landing page if you wanted to offer a free ebook, if you want to offer a free video course, um, a guy, some type of buyer's guide a way for people to subscribe to get homes by email, an automated home search, pretty much anything you can use a page just like this where you build out for that specific purpose.